Michael McKee from uh, Bloomberg Television and Radio. Uh, earlier this year, you touted the three-month uh, bill yield out to 18 months as the yield curve with 100 percent explanatory power. And you said, quote, if it's inverted, that means the Fed's going to cut, which means the economy is weak. That curve is only two basis points away from inversion now. So I'm wondering why you are so confident that you have not over-tightened, particularly given that uh, rates work with a lag. Well, uh, so we do monitor the near-term uh, forward spread. You're right. And it's, uh, that's been our preferred measure. We think it, you know, just empirically it, it dominates the, the ones that people tend to look at, which is twos, tens, and things like that. So it's not inverted. Um, and also, you have to look at why things, you know, why the why the uh, the rate curve is uh, is doing what it's doing. It can be doing that because it affects it expects cuts, or because it expects inflation to come down. In this case, you, if you're in a situation where the markets are pricing in significant declines in inflation, that's going to affect the forward curve. So yes, we monitor it. You're, you're right, um, and uh, that's what I would say. Uh, if I could follow up. Um, <laughs> You also said uh, several meetings ago that the risk of doing too little outweighed the risk of doing too much. Is what you're trying to tell us today is that that risk assessment has changed a little bit? Well, what's happened is time has passed and we've raised interest rates by 375 basis points. I would not, I, I would not change a word in that statement, though. I, th I think until we get inflation down, um, you'll be hearing that from me. Again, if, if, um, if we over-tighten, and we don't want to. You know, we want to get this exactly right. But if, if we over-tighten, uh, then we have the ability with our tools, which are powerful, to, as we showed at the beginning of the, of the uh, pandemic episode, we can support economic activity strongly if that happens, if that's necessary. On the other hand, if you, if you make the mistake in the other direction and you let this drag on, then it's a year or two down the road and you're realizing inflation behaving the way it can, you're realizing you didn't actually get it. You have to go back in. By then, the risk really is that it has become entrenched in people's thinking. And, the, and you know, the record is that the employment costs, the, the cost to the people that we don't want to hurt, you know, uh, they go up with the passage of time. That's, that's really how I look at it. So um, that, that isn't going to change. What, what has changed, though, you're right, is we're, we're farther along now. And I think as, as we're farther along, we're, we're now focused on on that, uh, you know, what's what's the place, what's the level we need to get to, to to rates, and you know, I don't know what we'll do when we get there. By the way, we, you know, it doesn't. We'll, we'll have to see. There's been no decision or discussion around exactly what what steps we would take at that point. But the first thing is to is to find your way there. 